Good evening. Got Ant-Man playing on the theater back there. If got any questions about my theater, drop me a line. But I want to talk to you tonight about 4K versus 3D. You know, 3D is all but dead. Uh, it's mainly just in home theater now or at the theaters. And even it's even fallen off at the theaters now. People don't want to pay the extra price and kind of fell like on a gimmicky thing, more or less, so they say. Now, from 2010 to 2015, there was over 500 million 3D television sets sold across the world. And in 2017, the last 3D television set was made. I want to explain to you something a little bit about 4K and high definition standard 1080p television. A 4K television is measured across the bottom at 4,000 pixels. A 1080p television was measured vertically on the side at 1080 pixels but on a 1080p across the bottom it's 2000 pixels so a 1080p television is actually a 2k tv so you have a 2k tv and a 4k tv basically uh, so 4k is only twice as good as 1080p it's not four times as good okay in case you didn't know that if you think oh 4k is four times better than 1080p it's twice as good okay so instead of getting uh, 16 beads of sweat, you're going to see the 16 and maybe 16 more little beads of sweat if that's what you're into, okay? I'm a 3D advocate. Now, I have seen the 4K. It's it's brilliant. Um, I ha I don't have a 4K television, but when the one I die, when the one that I have dies, I'm going to have to get a 4K television. But I want you to keep this in mind. Just because you get a 4K TV or an HD TV. Um, that is its display capability. It, just because you get a 4K TV doesn't mean suddenly you're going to come home, plug it in, you're watching everything in 4K. Or if you get an HD television, you're going to plug it in, suddenly you're watching everything in high definition. It doesn't work that way. They're just basically monitors. They only show what's pumped into them. The only way you can get a 4K picture is if 4K video is pumped into that television. So you go to the Best Buy and you look at all the wonderful TVs and you see the, the 4K there and you see the 1080p and you go, wow, look at that picture. It's being pumped in at 4K, okay? It's being pumped in, just to keep that in mind. Same thing with 3D, it has to be pumped in. Now those 500 million television sets, and it's that's right, 500 million. There are a lot of people out there sitting on 3D TVs that they don't even know that they have the capability of watching 3D. You say, well, what do you mean? Well, a lot of people bought these TVs and they never followed through. They never bought the 3D DVD player. They never bought the glasses. And they, I've, I've asked a few people, when did you buy your TV? 2015. I said, is it 3D? They go, I don't know. I tried this at work. Four out of 10 people went back, come up and said, it is 3D. So there's a lot of people sitting out there with 3D capability. They don't even know it. So that's one point I wanted to make to you. The second point I want to take is the same thing with the 4K. Now, Netflix now is starting to put a lot of their series in pumping it out in 4K. Another case in point here, I got a 1080p television. My son came over and says, oh, that's not 1080p. I go, what are you talking about? I showed him on the front of the television, he said 1080p. He goes, that's only 1080i. AT&T is pumping their high def signal out at 1080i what's 1080i 1080i stands i stands for interlaced so it's pumping it out at 720p interlaced to make it look like 1080 so i got a 1080p television i'm not even getting a 1080p signal i'm getting a 1080i if i was to go out and buy a 4k tv plug it in turn on my cable box i'm still going to get 1080i okay so you get home now you want to watch a movie in 4k so what do you need? You need a 4K DVD player, and you need a 4K DVD. You have to buy a DVD that's 4K. You have to buy a player that's 4K. Now you pump it into your 4K television, you're getting a 4K picture. Of all those people that have those 3D televisions, all they have to do is get a 3D DVD player, and here's the rub, they gotta get a pair of 3D glasses, and that's what's turned off a lot of people, okay? The 3D glasses have turned off a lot of people because it's like a sunglass in a sense. But here's the thing, I wouldn't give up 3D for 4K any day. You watch a lot of the reviewers that still review 3D movies and that, that, they'll tell you this movie's much better in 3D. I want that depth. I don't want the hokey stuff, but I want that depth, I wanna be there.
Okay, I want to be there. I want stuff. I, you know, I got stuff coming out of the screen into my room. It's snowing in my room. I, it's there's fireballs in my room. How can I beat that? What am I giving up for that? An extra 2K? It, to me, it's not worth it. To me, 3D. Now there are certain movies that are, don't even bother 3D, and I've reviewed some now. But my point is this: I'm, I'm, the reason I made this video is this: there are a lot of people sitting out there with 3D televisions that's never used the capability of it. They don't even know what they have. They've never bought a 3D player. They've never bought a 3D movie. And they never put their glasses on and sat there in awe as the Titanic goes down or Avatar and their jaw drops. They just haven't done it. And a lot of people are sitting out there with 4K TVs and have never seen a 4K signal at home, okay? So that's the TV, that's the TV portion of it. As far as the home theater goes, like you're seeing here, 3D all the way, 3D all the way. All you need is a 3D player, some 3D glasses, and 3D movies. And you're sitting in your home theater, and you've got stuff coming out at you. Now, again, this could be 4K, but for my home theater, it's 3D all the way. What do you think? Okay, leave your comments below. Let me know. Are you a 3D aficionado? Maybe you got a 3D TV at home. You never even knew it. Never even knew you had a 3D TV. Check into it. Check into it. Put, get your pair of glasses, get your 3D. And go out and buy Avatar in 3D. Of course, you're going to have to order a lot of your movies from the UK, but that's okay. Another thing is 4K movies are more expensive. 3D movies now, you can get about the same price. Okay? Leave some comments below. Let me know. Hit like and subscribe. Have a good night. And as always, God bless.